Hey there, welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and this video doesn't really go with the rest of my channel, but I thought it would be rather important for me to do a little review on the GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. I've used this camera for one full year, maybe a little bit longer, and here's my thoughts. Now, unlike the typical use for a GoPro, you know, the action camera, taking it out and about, I was actually using this camera as just a YouTube video camera, just like what you see here. Right now, I'm actually recording this on a GoPro Hero 9 Black with the Media Mod. All my previous videos to this one, where I'm standing in front of the green screen here, I shot with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I made that choice because it was really cheap, it could do 4K60, and overall I was pretty happy with it, but as the year went on, little issues and stuff popped up. Let's get into it. The GoPro Hero 8. Now, when I first started doing YouTube videos, I needed a camera that was good quality, high resolution, but I didn't have the money to really blow on like a $2,000 super camera and lens setup and everything. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give the GoPro Hero 8 a try. I do, and surprisingly, I'm actually really happy with it. You can see the results in past videos. I'll link a few of them down in the description, maybe use a card or something here. and. Overall, the quality is pretty good. Now, keep in mind, I'm using this as a stationary camera, just like what I'm doing now. That's the only purpose I had the camera for. I didn't mount it to a bike and go riding around or anything. I didn't do any kind of vlogging or anything where I'm just walking around with it on a selfie stick. Every single thing was right here in one spot. Now, for the first, I want to say five or six months, the camera worked fairly well. The very first month, I just used the camera by itself. And overall, the quality was pretty good. I really liked it. I got the media mod uh, about a month in. Uh, I actually pre-ordered the media mod. And when it finally came in, I slapped it on. And I got a little bit better sound quality out of it. But I also got the ability to do a few other little tricks and everything there that are included in the media mod. And that would be this guy right here. And see, I got like a hair stuck in it or something. Yeah. Now, the one issue that I always had with this was it was, it was a little flimsy. All right, it was always a little flimsy and never really kind of stuck in there right. Can I even open this? What this? Wow, okay. Um, apparently it's jammed closed now. Well, there's part of the review. <laughs> there we go, nope. Yep, there we go, all right. Jeez. But the thing is, whenever I would slide it inside here, this would sometimes just, it, it seemed like it didn't want to line up sometimes. So you're like, is it in, is it in? Is it in? Yeah, so putting this on and taking this on and off kind of meh, but otherwise it did the trick. So a uh, one month, I just had the GoPro Hero 8 Black itself. And after that, I slapped on the media mod. Well, after about five or six months, I started having some real major issues. Now, <sighs> the audio. Okay, there something was happening with the media mod interface and the microphone on this thing that was causing me to either one, lose all my audio completely. Like I'd get done doing a video just like I'm doing now and I would go to edit it, I, it would bring up the audio track and there's nothing there. And I would have to of course go back and just reshoot everything. And it was either that or this weird humming, hissing kind of anomaly in the background. I would have to use a you know noise reducer in order to try to get that eliminated but i could never get it to sound as good as you know if it didn't have the noise to begin with and you know this room right here you know i've got you know sound mats and everything everywhere everything's pretty much like a little controlled environment so there's no real ambient noise coming in on this so this noise where did it come from well the answer is something with this interface something with that microphone was messing up i don't know what the deal was, I tried different settings, I tried to make different changes, but eventually, about five to six months in, I had to ditch the media mod because it just wouldn't work. Oh, and now, just a little bit further in there, it turns out that I'm getting still yet a couple of other odd anomalies. The video, like, there's a few videos that I have up on YouTube right now where 
you'll just be watching, everything will just seem just perfectly fine. All of a sudden you just hear like this static pop. And it's a fairly loud pop, very noticeable pop. And uh, for the life of me, I tried to find where in the video and the audio files, you know, where, where the heck is this occurring? I can't find it. It's just there. And I'm sitting here scratching my head. It's like, what the heck is going on? You know, I ended up having to live with it because I couldn't find it or figure out what it was that was doing it. And it shows up at least like once or twice in some of my more recent videos within the last month or so. So that's another thing. It, the audio just kept messing up. And that wasn't the my media mod. That was the GoPro itself. This I, The media mod I've already removed. Now, another thing is... One of the well, one of the features I really enjoyed was just taking the GoPro, taking it down to my computer, plugging the USB B in, and just downloading the files. Right, made it real simple. You never had to take the battery out. Never had to take the SD card out. I actually really never changed the battery. Almost never, because you know I would get done recording. I'm only doing like 10 to 15 minute videos for the most part, so battery wasn't an issue. I had replacements. I swap them once in a while just to you know refresh the battery. Should probably do that. Don't live with just one battery all the time. You're just going to kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. But what ends up happening is that they do some firmware update or software updates. They did. They did something. And it would no the, the computer would no longer recognize it. Like you, you plug it in via USB, you hear the little beep where the computer can recognize what knows that something got plugged in, but you can't transfer files anymore. And I went online. I thought maybe it was uh, what was the MTP settings or something like that, or you know some other kind of weird thing in Windows to do. I tried everything, never get it to work. So in about the last month of the life of the Hero 8 here, I actually, you know, I had to take it, take it apart, take the battery out, take the SD card out. I had to go buy an SD card reader because I never needed one to begin with. So I had to spend money in order to correct the issue that was going on with the GoPro Hero 8. So in terms of video quality, video quality I've never had a problem with whatsoever. Video quality is awesome. Audio has given me issues off and on for the longest time. The USB interface is, it, it, it went from being very convenient to being non-existent. Maybe, maybe my GoPro just kind of took a crap. That could be the, the issue, but the audio issues alongside with that, and I couldn't recommend the GoPro Hero 8 to anybody at that point. If I just went by my first five, six months of using the device, I would be like, man, this thing is freaking awesome. I have no complaints whatsoever. This thing is a beast. I love it. It does everything I could possibly want. And then not so much. <laughs> but I kind of trust GoPro enough to get the GoPro Hero 9 Black and replace my 8, which is going all wonky. So basically, you know, I know that GoPro makes a good quality product. I know that GoPro can really put out some good stuff for cheap. I mean, $350 for the whole setup that I got, the GoPro Hero 9 Black, the Media Mod, and a couple other little goodies, like 350 bucks plus that subscription thing. Or I would have to spend like, I think it was $1,200 on a 4K camera that was actually good enough to do what I want to do. Um, given that price point, GoPro Hero 9 Black, absolutely. So I guess I'll be using uh, the 9 here for another year, seeing what I can do, and uh, hopefully this one doesn't crap out like the last one. Uh, so far, so good. The Hero 9 Black has been exactly what I wanted. No complaints, everything gold. But that can change over use, I don't know. This guy right here, Sad to say, um, unless I need it for an emergency or whatever, it's going in a drawer, it's sitting there, and it'll probably never get used again. And if you're looking to buy a used Hero 8 Black, I would actually very much recommend not doing that. Um, if somehow you can test it before you buy it, maybe that's good, but chances are you're not going to be able to do that. So if you're thinking about getting an 8, just go to the 9 and forget about the 8 for now. Uh, with that, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Everyone, most of my stuff on this channel is about anime and gacha games and everything. But every once in a while, I deviate. I'll review like a little computer component, something really that it really impressed me, uh, like the GoPro and everything. Like I said, I really did enjoy the eight early on until it started having issues six months in. And you know, hey, <laughs> I'm around. Come ask some questions. Live live streaming Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. If you're interested in that kind of good stuff. And one of these days, I'm going to try to use the Hero 9 Black as a 
little go little streaming device and everything. It's I never wanted to do that before, but now I kind of want to give it a try. I'll see you in the next video.